Thank you, Principal Ackerman and Assistant Principal Yerens. And thank you to the WAPA students, parents, and staff. A special thanks to all of the excellent teachers I've had at WAPA for the last four years. It is an absolute honor to stand before you today as we celebrate this momentous occasion, our graduation. I think we can all agree that the students in the class of 2023 experienced one of the strangest four years of high school and the history of going to high school. Not only did we have to endure the academic rigors of classes and the constant and seemingly impromptu math testing at eight in the morning, <laughs> but we also had to go through a once in a hundred year pandemic. Over 100,000 public schools were closed for more than eight weeks affecting 50 million K-12 students. Everything in the world came to a grinding halt and stopped, except for Wawa. <laughs> as a student, I can't really say I was happy. <laughs> but as friend after friend told me about how terrible their newly implemented online school was, I couldn't help but feel some pride for our sometimes too good Wawa IT team. <laughs> They were so good that I actually did learn some things. One of the most interesting things I learned was about diamonds in chemistry class. I learned diamonds are the hardest substance on Earth, and they are formed when carbon is exposed to extreme temperatures and pressures. The great Eastern philosopher Confucius once said, better a diamond with a flaw than a pebble without. My great passion, as Patrick said, is classical music. Part of the reason for attending WAMA was that I could devote more time for my dream of becoming a concert pianist. In classical music, a flawless performance is not only really prized, but almost demanded. But truthfully, a performance without blemish can be lifeless, because all you can hear is the performer trying not to make a mistake. Music is no longer the primary goal. The most exhilarating performances are when the musician plays what is in their soul, flaws and all, swinging for the fences and taking chances. This is when music becomes intoxicating and spellbinding. In order to help us recognize what we need to see about ourselves, our flaws are there to serve as a challenge. With flaws come challenges, and with challenges, growth. The great Western philosopher, Rihanna, <laughs> Once said, shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> but my chemistry teacher, Mr. Sherwood, would quickly point out that diamonds are not bright because carbon does not produce light. The shine you see is only a reflection of the light directed at them. During my time at Lava, there was one particular light who was unwavering for all four years. My homeroom teacher, Ms. Williams. Even on the darkest days, she blasted her sunshine through my computer screen. She was always checking in with me and never failed to champion me and my classmates' successes and achievements. She made you believe everything was good, even when sometimes it was hard to believe in yourself. We shine because a light is directed towards us. A diamond in the dark is no different than a lump of coal. We shine despite the pressure because of the light provided by our parents, our friends, and our teachers. Diamonds can take a month or days or even millions of years to materialize. When we graduate, success will not come instantly. We will make mistakes along the way because dreams do not give themselves up easily. Pursuing a dream will expose us to struggles, challenges, and we'll find ourselves between rocks and hard places. But only through such pressure can diamonds be created. Finally, Mr. Sherwood would point out that the shimmering brightness we observe in diamonds is just refractions and defractions of the original light source. In other words, the shine is only the light passing through. I urge my fellow students in the class of 2023 to pass the light shined upon you by someone else, because that is when we all shine the brightest. It seemed like the world around us was trying to crush us, but they only succeeded in making diamonds. Thank you very much. Well done, August. Next 
it is my pleasure to introduce Alexis Tillman. Come on, Alexis. Alexis has been with Wama for three years now. Also, she went here in eighth grade, but consecutively with Wama since her sophomore year. Alexis chose Wama because of the flexibility it offers and the quality of learning provided. She's working towards her associate's degree in biology and will graduate with it and with honors on June 17th. She's also in Phi Theta Kappa. Alexis intends to continue to pursue biology and will be attending the University of Washington in the fall to finish up her bachelor's degree. In the future, Alexis hopes to go to medical school and become a surgeon, specifically a pediatric surgeon. She enjoy, enjoys doing scientific research, making gluten-free items, spending time with her family and cat and dog, crocheting, and going to the beach. Her favorite classes include chemistry, biology, mythology, and anthropology. Please welcome Alexis.
When we asked why, Alex, did you choose Wava? Alex reported that it was because of its incredible flexibility, which has allowed him to spend more time doing things he loves. His favorite subjects were all the history classes, and in particular, civics. Alex loves sailing, and especially competing. Alex has progressed to competing in the Laser ILCA Olympic Class Dinghy on the world stage, competing in multiple national and international events. This summer, he qualified for Team Canada to sail in the 2023 ILCK World Championship in Poland. Pretty cool. Woo! Alex also enjoys skiing most days when he's not sailing in the winter at Alpental. Next year, Alex will be going to Western Governors University, and he's planning to pursue, and maybe teach at Wapa, a teaching degree in elementary education and continually sailing. Can we please welcome Alex? Good afternoon, Principal Ackerman, honored guests, teachers, family, and fellow students. As I look around, I have seen many happy and relieved classmates here today, and perhaps some even more happy and relieved parents. <laughs> it is time to celebrate, and we have many reasons to celebrate. This is the first in-person WAPA graduation since the pandemic, and that is definitely something to celebrate. The fact that we are gathered here together, not in our pajamas, with pants up, <laughs> like that you thought. <laughs> of course, I did have a few people that find it surprising that after 13 years of online schooling, that WAPA is having an in-person graduation. But it is important that we are gathered here and online from all over the, the state to celebrate this moment. It is time to celebrate the students, my fellow classmates. It is fitting that we the students celebrate our success successes. Our small successes, such as finally remembering to get that high school to be on plan to our homework teachers. <laughs> Without too many reminders. Another unique success at WAPA is our ability to learn and thrive in an online environment. A success that has certainly proven to be invaluable over the past few years and will continue to extend into the future. The WAPA environment has offered many of us the opportunity to pursue dreams and has certainly was instrumental in my dream of sailing competitively on the world stage. Becoming proficient at time management has been critical in a lifelong skill. These skills and successes have set us well for the future. We should also celebrate our big successes, such as getting to this point, sitting here today. Some of us have applied to trade schools and colleges. Others are ready to start the workforce. Others are taking a gap, but we have all made it here today, and that is our big success. It is also fitting that we, the students, celebrate our challenges, because that is how we learn and grow. That is what has created our character. How many of us were challenged when we switched class connects to the new row platform a couple of years ago? Teachers as well? Yeah. <laughs> or the challenges that are beyond our control, such as when our Wi-Fi goes down. That has taught us not only to be creative and adaptive, but also want to get great time management skills when, when we need to play catch up. On the water, I am often faced with elements out of my control, such as the wind, currents, and other boats, and I'm humbled by them. But we learn as well as students to forge ahead despite the odds. I'm sure we have all had challenges with choosing our next pathway, and some of us still might be having that challenge. But what a good challenge to have. To have that choice that is worthy of celebration. Let's also celebrate the amazing teachers. During my 13 years at WAVA, I've encountered very special teachers. We all have, some of whom are here with us today. Although our school is online, the teachers find ways to reach out and make connections. I have often asked if being an online school if we have a similar academic support. I reply we do, and I would argue it is even better. There aren't a lot of schools where you can come across not only your senior homework teacher, but also your kindergarten teacher at the same outing. But you can't hear what is the community. On behalf of our entire class, we, we thank you, our teachers, counselors, principals, and learning coaches, and we celebrate you. It is also important to celebrate change. This is the biggest turning point for many of our lives, us and our lives. Everything is about to change. 
School has been our constant for the past 13 years. And now, some of us are breaking away from that constant, that safe harbor, and others are setting sail on a much different version of that constant. President John F. Kennedy aptly said, For time and the world do not stand still, change is the law of life, and those who look only to the past or the present are certainly certain to miss the future. Change is what we should celebrate now and in the future. Guava has helped us prepare our boat for our next voyage. It is time to hoist the sails. Finally, I would like to leave you with a celebration of Guava's, Guava's motto. Effort creates ability. We have all worked so hard and put in so much effort. We now have that ability. All of us, let's go forward and use that ability to make a difference in the world. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Alex. Well done. Awesome speeches. Nice job. Finally, it is my privilege to introduce our partnering school district superintendent. He is coming to us from OMAC. It's a recorded video, but please welcome Mr. Porter as our final keynote speaker. Greetings to the faculty, our parents, and the extraordinary graduating class of 2023. My name is Michael Porter, and I am the OMAC school district superintendent. Today we come together to celebrate a milestone that seemed unimaginable not too long ago. You've embraced virtual classrooms and have conquered the challenges that are inherent in online learning, emerging stronger and more resilient than ever. You're graduating from Guava, the best online school in the great state of Washington, and your success is a testament to your determination, adaptability, and unwavering spirit. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Today we not only recognize each student's academic achievements, but also the personal growth each of you have experienced throughout your online high school journey. You've demonstrated that the boundaries of education are not confined to brick and mortar. Instead, they expand to every corner of the virtual world, where passion and dedication pave the way for success. As graduates of Wabit, you possess a unique set of skills. You've learned to navigate digital platforms, manage your time, and effectively communicate across computer screens. You've become experts in self-motivation, balancing your studies with other commitments, and taking ownership of your education. These qualities will serve you well in the next chapter of your lives. Remember that the path to success is not always a straight line. <laughs> For some of you, there have been detours, roadblocks, and moments of doubt. But it's in those moments that you discover your true strength and resilience. The ability to adapt, pivot, and persevere is what sets you apart. Embrace challenges as opportunities for growth and never let setbacks define your journey. Today, as you embark on new adventures, take a moment to express your deepest gratitude to those who've walked alongside of you. Families, friends, teachers, and the entire online school community have been your pillars of support throughout this journey. They've believed in you, encouraged you, and cheered you on. Their unwavering support has been instrumental in your success, and for that, you can be forever grateful. In conclusion, today is a celebration of your accomplishments, the friendships you have formed, and the extraordinary journey you have undertaken. As graduates of Guava High School, you stand at the forefront of an ever-changing educational landscape that is becoming more and more digital. Continue to carry the lessons you've learned and the experiences you've gained as you step into a world full of endless possibilities. Well done, Class of 2023. You have proven that distance is no barrier to greatness. Embrace the future with confidence, courage, and an unwavering belief in your own potential. Congratulations and best wishes. Thank you, Superintendent Porter, for the inspiring words. All right, it's the moment you probably have been waiting for. We are going to have our student leadership representatives, our ASB of our school, will be assisting us with the presentation of the diplomas. Um, we do have some barriers put up. We are videotaping and taking pictures, so you will have an opportunity to see 